Dude, are you asleep? Nope, just thinking of that full sleepy feeling after Thanksgiving dinner. Oh man, that's nice, but we got a show to do. Mmm, in the pumpkin pie. Really? You're thinking about pie right now? Snap out of it, because it's time for another edition of Yo. Your Nightly News. Welcome to the 6th edition of Your Nightly News. I'm Jack. And I'm Brett. Today we've got a story for you on Steel Press staff. But first, we take a look at those who leave early every day. BACC. <laughs> Mrs. Peterson asked us to hand these out yesterday, so those are yours. How come I wasn't offered any of these classes? <sighs> Mrs. Peterson. Hi Kelsey, what class do you take at BACC? I'm taking cosmetology. And is this your first or second year? My first. Now, what do you like about cosmetology? I like that you can express yourself in many different ways and there's just you can help people feel better about themselves and even yourself. Now, how is it different from just high school? You, when you are there, you're definitely more hands-on and you can connect more with the teachers and the students because you are there to learn the same things they are. So Alex, tell us about back. Oh, my back is fine, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean BACC. Oh, BACC, uh, BACC is a good program. I think it's uh, it's useful for all these students that want to move on with their lives and they want to go into a different career. There are several different career programs there to help you learn more skills. Awesome. Now, what do you do at BACC? I'm in the automotive technology class. How do you like that class? I like it pretty well. I mean, we have a new teacher, so it, it's kind of hard to get used to. We, we're getting into electronics and stuff now. All right, well, thanks for the interview. Yep. Hey, Kira, what class are you studying at BACC? This is my first year at Culinary Arts, and do you plan to go into the field that you are studying? I do. Is BACC what you expected? It is because we got our sanitation license, and we've done a lot more cooking than what I thought we would in this first part. And what's your favorite part about class? My favorite part would have to be having like creative days because that's when we could cook anything and like just being with the teacher because she's hilarious. Okay, thank you. So Gary, Hi, Paige. what class are you studying at BACC? I am studying criminal justice and law enforcement too. And how is that different than high school? Well, you only have four hours in high school, so we get there, get on the bus, and then we're off to Bloomington for like an hour and a half. And do you plan on going into the field that you were studying? I do. Um, I plan on uh, translating this from being in the civilian world to like maybe being in the um, an MP in the military since I did the National Guard. So what's your favorite thing about class? Um, the teacher, obviously the teacher. Uh, he's funny, he gets down to the point, and he's just, he's fun to be around. Okay, thank you. Awesome. All right, thank you, Ms. Peterson. Lance, come on, we're gonna do something. If you're interested, talk to your school counselor. We think about a lot of classes and activities, but it takes a lot of staff to get that together. Let's go check it out. You know, the staff does a lot for us. Yeah, they do. Let's go see what their days consist of. Hey, 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 hey. You better not let Post it see you without your lantern and those headphones in. What? I said you better not let Post it see you without your lantern or your headphones in. Dude, I don't care. Well, fine, I'll just go tell Post it. So, Mr. Poston, what are your roles here at Fieldcrest? Well, I'm an assistant principal, athletic director, and also do Renaissance. And how do you like those roles? It's a lot of time. Uh, the AD job takes a lot of time, kind of gets split two ways sometimes, but I like it, it keeps me busy. 
And how do you like being the head director of Renaissance? That's probably the one that's harder just because I, the other, other uh, jobs take a lot of time. When I first did Renaissance, it was kind of, I had more time for it, so I got to find time for it. And um, do you like all the students here at Fieldcrest? <laughs> yeah, I like all the students at Fieldcrest. And uh, what's one thing you want to say to all the students here? Have fun. Enjoy high school. Don't, don't want to get out too early. All right. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. You're welcome. I'm here at the Secretary of Fieldcrest High School. So, Sherry, what's your favorite thing about being a secretary? Well, there's many favorite things, but probably the most of all is working with the students. It just helps keep me young and in the know. That's a good answer, I think. Uh, who are your office workers? Um, I start out in the morning with Jacqueline and then Zach. And then Chantel, sometimes Zach again, Jeremy, then Drew, Zach. Finally, we finish out the afternoon with Zach. Seems like Zach's in here quite a bit. He tends to be this year, yes. He's having a few issues, but we're getting through them. That's good. Um, what's your least favorite thing about being a secretary then? Um, probably the size of my office. As you can tell, it's very teeny tiny. And then when we have staff in here and many students, and it just gets a little congested and a little compact. I bet so. Thank you for your time. You're welcome, sir. No, no, don't delete my pa No. Oh, my God. Oh, I hate these tablets. I need a tech guy. What makes you want to fix all these broken tablets? Well, for the multiple educational purposes we have here at Fieldcrest High School. You guys need to learn. Okay, and um, how many students usually come in per day? Uh, I would say um, probably 15 to 20. Um, when I get back from the other schools, sometimes there's four or five waiting for me in line. Um, but yeah, about 20 people a day. And what do they come in for? What problems? Oh, there's multiple different things. Uh, it could be as simple as reattaching a keyboard or to a uh, broken screen, which we've had multiple of those this year. Uh, and then it could be also the random ghost clicking that sometimes your cursor just goes crazy, starts clicking and won't let you do anything. I've had those problems. And um, what's your favorite part about the tablets? Um, actually, I would say if there is a problem I don't really know how to fix it, I will keep working until I finally can fix it. And when I do, that's a fantastic feeling. And last question, what days are you here at the high school? I am typically here Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays all day. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm over at Fieldcrest West in the morning, and I'm normally back by lunchtime. All right, students. Well, if you have problems with your tablets, come on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Tuesday and Thursday afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Mojo, check it out. These things are pretty sweet. Let's go talk to the yearbook teacher. Hey, Coach, what's your favorite part about Fieldcrest? Um, it has to be the student body. I love the excitement here at Fieldcrest. I love the community and the willingness for the student body to learn and want to become successful. Okay, and now often overlooked is yearbook. Can you tell us about your role in yearbook? Well, I, I wouldn't say it's overlooked. I think yearbook's a big deal, and the students are part of it, um, do a great job. I'm the yearbook advisor, but my role is just to make sure the yearbook gets done. I want the students to be a part of it as much as possible and make them make the memories for their entire life. Right. Now with that, you're also a teacher. What's your favorite class to teach? Um, have to be accounting, by far. Um, accounting is just a great subject. Okay. And is there any specific reason you like accounting? Uh, multiple reasons. The students I have in my accounting classes the last two years have been great students with a willingness to learn and want to be successful in business. And I have an accounting background, so I love teaching and it comes easy to me. And I believe every student needs accounting and it will help them in their future. Right on, thank you. You're welcome. You know, the staff does a lot for us. They sure do, they deserve a lot of things. So thank you to all the staff and all that you do. For the Nightly News, I'm Matthew. I'm Jack. And I'm Drew. <laughs> Even though last week was National Education Week, thank you to the staff. Let's not forget the great job all of our sports teams did.
Now let's take a look at some upcoming events. Well, that's our show. Next time we'll have stories on FFA and girls basketball. In the meantime, you keep being you and get yourself some pie. And we'll see you soon with another edition of your nightly news. <laughs> <laughs>